how to register in Zoomu. So go to zoomu.me. Make sure to click Google Translate. Scroll down until you can see the different editions. Select the free version. After selecting the free version, you will be directed to this page. So on top, click International Phone Numbers so that you will be directed to a page for international users. So input your information, your email address, your mobile number. So make sure to select the country where you are or your phone number code. If it's you, Hong Kong, select Hong Kong. If you are in America and USA, select the international code of USA. Copy the CAPTCHA and then click Retrieve Verify Code so that a code will be sent to your phone number. And then when you receive the phone number, put it down in the Verify Code box and then put your password. Confirm your password and then hit I Agree to Terms of Service and Privacy Policy and then click Sign Up. Okay. So after creating an account, you need to download the Zumo application. You need to go to below URL to download the app. So that's zumo.me slash download slash download. And select the applicable version, whether it be the Windows 7, 8, 10 or Windows XP. Okay. So when you have successfully downloaded it, so this is the Zumo Cloud Meetings sign-in portion. Input your email address and then your password. Then click sign in. So this is the home appearance of Zumo app when you successfully log in. You can see the start video or start with video start without video, join, schedule, and share screen. First, you need to get your PMI, your personal meeting ID. You will be using this when you will be having a class with a student. So click meetings below to get your personal meeting ID and then go to your Skype group class and then send to your PMI and then go back to home appearance of Dumu and start with video. The student will come in using the personal meeting ID you sent. Okay, so how to share your screen. So down below, you click share, and then you choose a screen, whiteboard, or the book, the PDF, or a website that you want to share with your student. And then hit the button share. So once you have joined the meeting, you have to click to share. You can select the whiteboard and click on blue button share. Okay, let's go to other options here. Let's discuss manage participants. In manage participants, you can see the list of participants in the call and then you can manage it. You can see the mute button, you can see the video icon. So down below, beside your student's name, you can see mute and you can see more. When you hit more, you will have the options there. Say chat, stop video, make host, make co-host, allow record, 
assign to type closed caption, rename, and remove. So if you want to chat, send a message to your student, click that one. If you want to allow your student to record the class, you hit that. And then if you want to rename the name of the student, you click that. So let's go to remote control. So if you want your student to remote your computer, you want them to draw, you want them to point using your own cursor in the book that you are using, that you are sharing in your laptop or in your screen, you give them the mouse control. Okay, so you click that remote control. Next, let's talk the option more on top. That's the last one. So in the more option, when you click that, you can see the option chat, closed caption, breakout rooms, invite, record, disable attendee annotation, hide video panel, switch to phone video and video settings, and optimize share for full screen video clip. The most important here is the chat when you want to send a message to your student and the record if you want to record the class and disable attendee annotation. So if the student is keeping on typing or putting a text or drawing in your screen, then you can use this option to disable attendee annotation. Okay, and this one below is the annotation tool. So when you hover your mouse on top of your Zumo, the annotation tools will appear. So there's mouse, select, text, draw, spotlight, eraser, format, undo, redo, clear, and save. Okay, let's talk more about annotation tools on the part of draw. If you want to emphasize some words in the book, you choose draw. So you can select the square, you can put that one into a word so that you can emphasize it in order for the student to see it well. And then before you go to the next page, make sure to click clear all drawings. Because if you will not do that, all the drawings or all the annotations that you did in the previous page will transfer to the next page.